and yet the, the participants in the program will continue, continue to generate uh, large commissions, larger than they would be able to generate in the same period of time by booking travel. Now, is it your opinion that when you look at the, uh, what has been identified as, as Planets Exhibit 5, the genealogy report, is it your opinion that that <coughs> appears to be the focus of what Mr. Bill Johnson was doing here? That simply indicated to me that he was building his downline fairly fast, it looked like, but I couldn't tell for sure. I mean, Now, did you see the portion of the uh, videotape that was played on yesterday uh, where Mr. Johnson was referred to as the leader? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, and, and, and there was some reference to a group called the Four Horsemen? Yes. Would it be reasonable to conclude that uh, the goal of Mr. Johnson and the Four Horsemen was to get many people, as many people signed up to purchase tri-packs as quickly as possible? Would that be your expert opinion from what you've, all the evidence you've seen Objection, today? Your Honor. We've got, again, the opinion being given by Mr. Turner. One, this has been asked and answered. But two, it's a continuation of the same question. Your Honor, we'll withdraw the question. I have no further questions. Cross. Dr. Uh, Dr. Keith, I was just noting some of your uh, last comments. Uh, based on incentives here, the primary focus is not to retail travel, but to sell these other products. Is that correct? No. Um, the incentive here is to get people to buy packs that are interested in getting other people to buy packs. Now, you keep referring to these as packs. The company refers to these as products. I, I appreciate that. These are products, are they not? These are products, yes. The VIP getaway package is, in fact, a product. It is a product. Were you able to hear the testimony of Mr. Analik? I'm not sure when it's it was. It's a product that stands on its own, does it not, as a consumer product? No. It does not. I have not seen evidence of that product being sold in the marketplace. Uh, would you be surprised that uh, one of our earlier witnesses, one of the foremost experts in the travel industry, testified that the VIP package? No, I'm going to object to the characterization as foremost experts. I don't think the court reached the conclusion. In fact, I have some very serious questions about uh, the time of uh, Mr. Um, Analik directly to the creation of both these programs. Mr. Analek dared to be great, and now he wants to dare everybody else to stop it. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Uh, would you have, uh, <coughs> would you be surprised that, that uh, an expert in the travel industry, recognized by this court as an expert in the travel industry, testified that the VIP pack is a valuable and viable product I would not be surprised that, that someone saw, an expert I recognize by this car, court, saw that, that to be a valuable product. I, I also see that to be a valuable product. Thank you. Products like that are, are sold in the marketplace, are they not? Products like that are sold in the marketplace. Thank you. Uh, would you would regard the travel tutorial product as a viable and valuable product? I would regard the, the tutorial product as having value. I don't know how, value, how viable it, it would be in the marketplace, but I, I believe it has value. Well, uh, do you know, is uh, Travel Max the first company to, to market these travel tutorials in the marketplace? No, I don't believe they are. They're readily available, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, these sorts of travel tutorials, people spend thousands of dollars to go to uh, travel schools for, for such education, do they not? I have no knowledge yeah. of that, but that wouldn't surprise me. That is, yeah, it, it isn't your area of expertise. Travel is not. And in fact, people, uh, people spend this much or more every day to buy travel tutorials like the Travel Who's Travel Tutorial. Here? I'm, I'm not, not correct. Your Honor, um, I think um, Mr. Uh, Badner is uh, again trying to testify. Um, I think the witness has answered the question. Um, the witness has indicated that they're not familiar with uh, all of these pro uh, all of these Your Honor, courses. Your this, that this is cross. To. I have a right to lead the witness, and I object to this continued. You don't have a right to badgering. testify for the witness. I, uh, I I know who the witness is. I'm, he can lead. You can suggest the answer. You know, in your question and. Uh, uh, and I'm listening to what the response is, so you may ask the question. Go ahead. Could you ask me that again? I wish I could remember what I <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Go. 
the, uh, we were talking about the travel tutorial. And basically what I was saying to you, uh, sorry for throwing my pen at you there. Uh, what I was saying was the, the, uh, the tutorial is, is a viable and valuable product, is it not? As it is priced. I'm uncomfortable with the word viable, and I'm uncomfortable with saying as it is priced. I believe the product has value. I have no evidence. Mm -hmm. I did not conduct a survey of this tutorial versus others that are in the marketplace. Well, you know, <coughs> Dr. Keith, you spent a lot of time, basically, as a marketing expert, coming to the conclusion as to what was the motivating factor as to why these distributors bought this product, why they bought this product. You, 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 at, at length. Let me ask you, uh, in the, as, a, as a marketing professor who was doing a survey of the motivation of individuals in buying a product, would it be helpful to do either a focus study or to interview any of the purchasers? Would that contribute at all to your opinion? I'm not a strong believer in focus groups or surveys, depending, okay. I'm not a strong believer in focus groups or surveys to determine value. What determines value? The marketplace. The marketplace. So if I were to show you that these particular products were sold in the Wall Street Journal, in the Rob Report, as has been already admitted into evidence, at... Well, uh, Your Honor, may I ask what, what products he's referring to? Mm -hmm. are, are you referring to Travel Max products? Travel product Tutorial. Or uh, some other product? Travel Tutorial type product, which basically has been testified to by Mr. Analik is substantially the same product. Your Honor, we would object to the characterization of substantially the same product. We objected when these exhibits were offered as to uh, them being offered for the truth for what's contained in those <coughs> documents. Those documents were simply um, introduced by the defendant to establish that there were correspondence courses that charge a price somewhat um, in the range of what uh, Travel Max charges for this particular product. Your Honor, Mr. Analy testified that he knows these products and he, was, and he compared the products. Now you may proceed. So these products are sold in the Wall Street Journal, Rob Report, and other publications for the same or similar price as Travel Max. Would you would you not agree? I I will accept that that that, that those that sales takes place. I don't know if they're the same kind of product. Okay. Well, let's assume for the moment, not just assume, it's inevitable that in fact it is the same type of product at the same or higher price. What does that tell you about the value? Your Honor, there's no foundation, there's no evidence in the record that compares that in terms of what that product is, the intellectual value of that product compared to the intellectual value of the product that is in evidence. We think if uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Babner wants to talk about the um, ITA tutorial offered by Travel Max, which is right there, with the, and the witness can look at it, that's one thing. But to have him speculate as to the content of a correspondence course that he's not uh, reviewed. I thought his witness testified that he had reviewed it and it was the same kind of. And she did, Your Honor. That was thing. the evidence. It is in evidence. Well, I think we need to look at the transcript on that point. My <coughs> recollection of that witness testimony and my objection um, when that uh, exhibit was offered was as to it being limited to what they offered it for, and that was simply that there were other correspondence courses that charge a price roughly equivalent to the pricing in this instance, and I think you accepted it into evidence for that purpose and no, and no other purpose. Well, it's been some time since he testified, so I'd have to go back and, and look. Um, he have but I think what he's asking to do is assume, assume that the two are substantially the same. Uh, Your Honor, I think the, uh, if you read the uh, document on Global Travel International in and of itself, there are, uh, there are distinctions between the program. I can note some of those distinctions for you. I was planning to bring them out through another witness um, after uh, we concluded with Dr. Key. But okay. I, I think there I made, are differences. I think I made my point, Your Honor. What I was trying to get at, Dr. Key, is you said based on incentives, the primary and focus is not to retail travel, but to sell these other packs. And all I'm trying to tell you Excuse me. All I'm trying to ask you to agree with me. We think that that's is, what you're doing is exactly Your Honor, that. I, I, Your Honor, I, I think this is very rude on the part of Mr. Turner, yeah. and, and this is not necessary. I, I didn't interrupt his his examination. All right, mate, let's make specific objections if we have them, and uh, not editorialized at this point. You may proceed with your question. 
Did you have an objection right there? I mean, no, I know well, what your objection is. My objection is that um, Mr. Babner continually um, um, is uh, testifying um, as opposed to asking a question, whether he, irrespective of the form in which he asks that question, and we would just ask him to form his questions in the form of a question that the uh, witness can respond to as opposed to his elaboration or comments about what the standard happens to be. Uh, I mean, he, he, he may make a statement then, uh, so long as it has something to do with this case and ask the witness if he agrees or disagrees. Yes, and we think that's appropriate, John. Right. All right. <coughs> Dr. Keep, you said that based on incentives, the primary focus is on, is not on the sale of retail travel, but the sale of these packs. And the underlying assumption of what you just said is that it, you're giving the impression that these packs, which we've now identified as the VIP, which you agree is a product, yes. and the tutorial is a product. Yes. The underlying assumption is that the purchase of those as products is somehow not the sale of products. And that, this, that unless this company only sells travel bookings, it isn't in the, it isn't in the business of retailing. It is retailing these products, is it not? As well as, as travel bookings. Is that not There are correct? some retail activities going on here, including those products and including travel bookings. Thank I you. agree with that. Okay. In fact, there are very significant retail activities, and in your terms, retail. But we can both agree that in multi-level marketing organizations, retail means <coughs> sales outside the network as well as sales to end users who are in the network. Can we agree on that? Yes. I, I don't agree with your word, use of your word significant, but I do agree with your later statement that re selling inside and outside the network are both part and parcel of multi-level or network marketing. They are. As a matter of fact, the Kentucky statute one of the few statutes in the United States recognizes personal use, sales for personal use, as, as basically exempted from the payment of consideration in a pyramid, does it not? It calls for a legal opinion, Your Honor. We can show statute. The statute speaks for itself, Your Honor. Um, I don't know if the witness um, has read this statute. You wouldn't statute disagree with that, would you? My recollection is that use is part of it. It's one of the more liberal statutes regarding the recognition of, of a personal use within a network of any statute in the country, is it not? I don't know that. As a matter of fact, in leading companies such as Amway or Shackley, the majority of product is used personally by distributors. Is that not correct? I believe that to be true, particularly Shackley. Now, you indicated that uh, the cons one of the concerns you had was because of the extent of personal purchases or purchases for personal use of these products by distributors. And you, you will agree, Dr. Keep, that these distributors weren't buying uh, volumes of these tutorials. They, were buying, they bought one. That's correct. And they bought one VIP if they wished. Uh, yes, uh, that's, that's my impression. Of course, as you read the literature, you also discovered, Dr. Keep, did you not, that you could sign on, buy a $25 sales kit, not pay a sales, not pay a fee, but buy a $25 sales kit, get the sales manual, and you could only be an order taker. You didn't have to buy anything. You could just go out and take orders for products, could you not? I was not clear on what activities that you could or couldn't engage in or how much commission was associated with that activity. That well, you uh, that I was not clear. You didn't read the materials very carefully because they point out that, that you may either sell or you may take orders. And you may sell the product or you may buy it for resale. What, pardon me. Show him where you're referring to if, uh, if, if, if it's in there. So it You know, the Commonwealth will stipulate that the promotional materials by uh, Travel Max do present three methods by which. Your Honor, uh, I, I, Your Honor I, I don't need that stipulation. Okay. <laughs> Too late. Okay. Uh, we're looking at uh, what is the compensation plan brochure. You've seen mm -hmm. this, yes. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it indicates basically you, you, you join the company. Of course, you, you pay 25 bucks, you get a sales kit. 
Okay. That's, uh, that is universally recognized in the direct selling industry is how you get into a direct selling company, is it not? I'm based more on comfortable your, with your word universal. Well, based on your scanty uh, experience in the direct selling yeah, industry. I um, object to the uh, characterization uh, using the, ad the, the adjective. Uh,